Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to a special salvation update from Jerusalem, Israel. We're living in prophetic times. There's never been a generation closer to the second coming of Jesus Yeshua than this generation. We're not setting any dates, but we know that the time is near. The note that Rabbi Yitzchak Kadori left, that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, is God, continues to shock the Orthodox movement in Israel and the anti-missionary organization Yad Lachim. The book, The Rabbi, The Secret Message, and the Identity of the Messiah has hit the streets of Israel, and souls are being saved. There is no revival without the Word of God. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. But Jews in Israel and around the world, whether they're secular Jews or religious Jews, take at face value what the rabbis have to say. So they read the Bible under rabbinic interpretations. So they have books that interpret the Bible, and they have books that interpret the books that interpret the Bible. This is the enemy's way of getting him out of the Word of God. That's why the book, The Rabbi, The Secret Message, and The Identity of the Messiah is a powerful evangelistic tool. Because when Jews read about Isra Kaduri, read about the objections to believing in Yeshua, see the note that Rabbi Isra Kaduri left in a decoded format, then they're drawn to the written Word of God and the Holy Spirit opens their eyes. That Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. Yeshua is God. Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And the word in Hebrew for Jesus is the word salvation, Yeshua. So what Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3 is saying in Hebrew is, With joy you will draw water from the wells of Yeshua. And everything in the Old Testament is a shadow of the new. We find this in the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. What scripture has said? It's speaking about Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 3. We were sharing this Bible verse all through Jerusalem. A Orthodox Jew by the name of Adil Leibovich asked, I heard you speaking about the wells of salvation. Who are you speaking about, he asked. It was a hot day in Jerusalem. I asked if we can go sit down in some shady place and study this. He immediately said yes. Praise Yeshua, the Holy Spirit was working. There is a hunger in Israel and around the world. There is a thirst, and the only way to fulfill that thirst is by drinking from the wells of salvation. Adir and I sat down for hours studying the Word of God. As I was reading other Bible passages, including Isaiah 12.3, I saw that Adir was getting nervous. I then asked him if he knew who Rabbi Yitzchak Aduri was. He replied by saying, not only do I know who he was, but I knew him personally and studied under him for many years. I then pulled out the book, The Rabbi, The Secret Message, and the Identity of the Messiah. When he looked at the cover, and saw the key over there, and saw the name of Rabbi Yitzchak Kaduri, he was fascinated and wanted to know what's in the book. I then opened the note that Rabbi Yitzchak Kaduri left in a decoded format and read together with him. We decoded the note in Hebrew, and it spelled the name of Yehoshua, or Yeshua, Jesus. He was speechless. He didn't say a word. I opened the Bible again to Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3, and read with him. With joy you will draw water, from the wells of salvation. And the Hebrew word for salvation is Yeshua. I told Adil, Rabbi Yitzchak Kaduri drank from the wells of Yeshua, and he is now in the presence of God with eternal life. I asked Adil, do you want to drink from the wells of Yeshua? Incredible, he said yes, but his reply was, I don't understand how. It was time for the full gospel. I opened the Bible to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18. Verse 15 and read, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your fellow Israelites. You must listen to him. This is Moses prophesying under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit about Yeshua, Jesus. I then read Isaiah 53 with him. Psalms 22, Psalms 2, Jeremiah 23, Micah 5, 2, and many, many other Bible passages. I told the deal. If you turn to Messiah Yeshua 
If you call on his name, if you believe and repent, if you call on the name of Yeshua as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, as God, as Lord of your life, if you repent and believe that he rose on the third day and by his blood you have full redemption of sins, you are saved and you have eternal life and you will drink from the wells of Yeshua. At that moment, something supernatural happened. Adil said, I repent. I want to believe in this Yeshua. I want to accept him as Lord and Savior of my life. Adir stood up, prayed a prayer, and received Yeshua as his personal Savior. He is now born again. We give all the glory to Yeshua the Messiah, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Adil then asked for a copy of the book, The Rabbi, The Secret Message, and the Identity of the Messiah. We gave him a book. He will be reading the book and sharing it with others. This account about Rabbi Yitzchak Aduri that left a note that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, won't die. Thus says the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Once again, his revelation leads Jews to the written word of God and the Holy Spirit opens their eyes that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. We pray that many more Jews in Israel and around the world will come to know Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of Yeshua. Let's continue to stand together as the one new man. Ephesians 2.15 Work the harvest together. Bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat sending you blessings from Jerusalem, Israel in the mighty name of Al Yeh Yehuda, the line of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua. Amen. Sharon has died aged eight. We are with one of Rabbi Kaduri's disciples.